Um, and so does so does Ronald Wiggins. What, what's up with your your room? Our room is canceled for this Thursday, and that is uh, Homegrown Hilarity Happy Hour. We have at it to Bot Bistro. Um, 1336 U Street every Thursday. We will not be having it this Thursday. But we will pick back up next Thursday. Mm -hmm. Um, and then also, um, what other good stuff is coming up? Also, uh, remember the the MC that we had on like our maybe our second show. Mm -hmm. This is our two month anniversary, actually, you guys. Wow. Yes. Oh, yeah. We've been on the air for two months. Hey, eight, eight, eight weeks. There you go. Yeah. 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 And that's the same day of the Roots Christmas party, so I don't know if I'm making that flight to LA yet or not. Okay. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of good stuff coming up. Sway from the TV next week. Okay. And um, yeah, so we're, we we got a good couple of shows. We're trying to figure out if we're going to take vacation on y'all or not. Yeah. On the 26th, yet. day after Christmas. Are y'all going to be here? I'll be here. Are you going to be here, Eric? This is my home. Are you working? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> If, if you're not here, there's no show. So. <laughs> exactly. Eric's Jewish. He don't go to no Christmas. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know, he celebrates Everybody holidays. Everybody cares about Christmas. <laughs> now when you're over it's 25, Christmas you know. Time. Why not? What, what do you do for Christmas? What does your family for Christmas? Well, I don't know. Well, you gotta ask my family. I don't know what they do for Christmas with me. I, I just chill and give me a little mistletoe. And you no. said mistletoe? No, mistletoe. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, mean, I, mistletoe. I do that every other day. On your belt buckle? Yeah, mistletoe. I put some mistletoe. Every other day? And I roll so up some mistletoe. How your groupies doing, Troy? My groupies is doing okay, you know. You can only putting my business in the street. But yeah, now nah, my business is, is good. My groupies are alright. Actually, I perform uh, tonight at, at Waldo, Maryland with uh, Terrence the Comedian and okay. Alicia Cooper. Oh, awesome! Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, and I auditioned for America's Got Talent this Sunday. Word. Awesome! Yeah. Knock it out. Yeah. Awesome. Knock it out. Yeah, I do that. I had an audition this past weekend, and um, thank you, Jesus. That went awesome. Three, two, one, acting BC workshop. Mm -hmm. And um, shout out to Mark Lane Cannon and BJ Gianni and um, Cedric Stewart, her, who we're also going to have on the show in January. He okay. has, um, he, he's on, he's that, that show that um, was with Tasha Smith and it's Tyler Perry and it's like. Oh yeah, um, the new show. I know what you're talking about, but don't, the name escapes me right now. Yeah, it's like For the Love of Us or, I don't know. Mm. Who's in the show? Yeah. Tasha Smith and then that other buff dude. So um, Hold up, is Tasha Smith the buff dude? No, too? Which oh, I don't even know. You know, you said the other buff dude. Smith, I love you. Okay, not. don't even listen to him right now. Oh, man, don't do that. Tasha um, Smith's a That's a strong woman to God, too. I love her. Um, but I can't even think of these people's names right now. But um, maybe you shouldn't but mention them. But he's one of those like. He's <laughs> one of those, don't mention them until you know their names. He's, he's one of those uh those those buff gentlemen on the show that there looks you go really with that extra. <laughs> I don't care to continue. But, but, um, exactly. Okay. Anyway, um, but speaking of handsome gentlemen, Obama was just getting interviewed by um, Barbara Walters. And um, so it's the first interview that they're doing, um, him and Michelle Obama, yeah. since the re-election. And also tonight on ABC, um, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, they are doing um, Arthur Walters' 10 Most Fascinating People. And um, He's one of them? I don't know. No, I don't think Obama's on that. How in the hell Obama? I don't think Obama's on that list. Like, it's weird people on that list. Like, the little boy from One Direction and, like, I don't even know what that like is. Hillary Clinton or something. Like, Hillary Clinton's on the list. That's absurd. Yeah, yeah it's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, this stuff is on the Is TV. Trinidad James on the list? Do you know? No. Because that's a fascinating brother right there. No, you're hilarious. That's a fascinating brother. I'm not seeing the time over oh, yeah. Um, but yes, yes, yes. So, what else is going on with you guys? And well, man, I don't know if you guys watch football this weekend. Of course. 
Chris I don't see him. RG3. 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 Triple. I don't know about that knee, though. We're going to have to wait. We're going to have to see him next Sunday. I don't know. They said he's good. They somebody, say the somebody, knee a little jittery. Somebody told me, and this is corny to me, but somebody told me that uh, to announce this, that, that some people are calling him RG Me now. Now, oh, that's not even that club. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought that was corny, but I, I thought I would mention it for the person who, who said it to me, man. RG Me. RG Me. Hey, but he nah, he got something better than that. He did his thing, and Kirk Cousins, shout out to Kirk Cousins. He yeah, he too. came through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. He represented. Yeah, he had to really do his thing this Sunday. Well, because it looked like he was going to be stopped. It's Cleveland. No. That's what you say. It's Cleveland. That's what you say. It's Cleveland. I'll take that bet if RG3 don't play. No, the only thing. Uh, oh, yeah. If RG3 does not <laughs> step on the field, I'll take that you bet. You know what happened last time you took that bet? That was a swindle. Nah, I ain't there. That was a swindle. Who y'all playing this week? The Dallas. We got the, uh, the Steelers. Oh, shit. I'll take that bet on the Steelers. Cool. Okay. We'll talk. Mm-hmm. I gotta think about it. I ain't trying to lose. Yeah, exactly. We talk on air so the, the people will know. You gotta be frugal these days. Can't just wow. be jumping the gun. Yeah. Oh. in a recession. Breaking. Um, remember Ross Nebby, the uh, MC that we had? Yeah, on? yes. yes. Um, he made DMV's top new artist. Wow. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah. I, and he was, he was smooth with his. Please man. support and vote Ross Nebby. Thank you. Um, www.poldaddy.com. Uh, yeah, what? he made the DMV's top new artist. Congratulations, yeah, Ross Nebby. And, um, yeah, we definitely support him. That's, Uptown, that's man. somebody I need to manage. He's, he's up and coming, for real. He's on his way. God bless him. He's, he's always talking about the right things. Like, I had some real hip-hop. We need more artists. Yeah, real hip-hop. artists to get back to the core of this world. Yeah. This is true. You feel me? Oh, yeah, I want to talk to Lloyd anyway. You know why? Why? Um, I beat my little charge you last beat week. The charge? Yeah, last Thursday. Hey, I beat that charge. I beat that charge. Now we can man, talk man. about it. Told you. Told you. Yeah, thank you. I was hella praying. But no, he said it. He said, he said that little legal <laughs> issue that you're dealing with, don't worry, you're going to be all right. And no, I told none of you guys about that, remember? That's why I, I knew was, what it was, though. I, that, I bet you did put two and two together. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the shit is over with now. Thank you. Amen. Yeah. So, New Year's Eve, huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, and um, the Paul Mooney show is next week, so I'm thinking about Oh, what's the date for that? It's, uh, it's at the Iowa right? Theater, and it's uh, December 20th, Thursday. Wow. Oh, oh snap. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, our show's on the 19th. Okay, we need to see if we can see about having him on some type of way. That brother is. Uh, okay. He's a legend. He's a legend. Yeah. Genius on Old stuff. people always come in a day early. So he, he should be here on the 19th. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. I love that dude. Yeah, man. He's I, awesome. He's a legend, man. I, I read uh, his book. I've seen a lot of his stand-up. So it, it's, it's, it's going to be an honor to see him. One man. of my favorites. Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, he wrote for Richard Pryor. Uh, the list goes on and on. Roseanne Barr, Robin Williams. Oh, for Roseanne? Yeah. I didn't even know yeah. that. Yeah, bro. I mean, the list goes on and on. A lot of comedians that you may not even know about. Um, he wrote on Saturday Night Live, the early years, like when stuff was really starting to happen for him. Uh, he made up Homie the Clown. Um, yeah, I can go on and on forever about his credits, but I'm definitely going to check him out. Um, okay, today is 12 12. It's his birthday is today. Birthday. Yeah, Warwick. Oh, yeah, Warwick? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nostrils. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Nostrils, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, what? Dang, what? Where the hell she been at? Smoking cigarettes, probably somewhere. Let's be on that. No, My she, psychic friend. Yeah, she probably been trying to find out who killed Whitney. Don't you have to call Lloyd? <laughs> hey, you got your. Oh, she lost all her psychic friends. Call Howard. What's her birthday? You gonna get on it? What's her birthday? <laughs> you know. Okay. Hey, what, what the hell is her psychic friends at though, man? Yeah, that kind of been out of effect since like '93. Yeah. I, mean, I never heard nothing like Cleo, that. Cleo, Miss Cleo, put her him, her, him, her. Damn, you know where she is? Yeah, you don't know him, her, him. her the haircut. Lloyd put her in my business. But nah, they done arrested her punk ass too, uh, Cleo. Call me down. Yeah, she was a fraud. She wasn't even. Jamaican. Mm. Oh, yeah, she was from Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. yeah that chick was from Cincinnati. Call me now. Um, what else is going on? Oh, 
My homegirl Jazz is here. She oh, yeah. She, remember? She, yeah, she's back. Remember yeah, that. She's back. She's a friend of the show. Okay. And she it has a open mic that is tonight. Ah, yeah. And um, she's going to shop that out real quick. Okay. It's the free flow, the free flow. The free flow form. Um, I'm, I'm coming through. through here. I'm coming through. I love, I love that mic. He's in the uptown area all the time, you know. It's, it's warm. Oh, beautiful. The red uh -oh. sunshine just came through the door. And first, you know my goodness. So would you just tell us real quick about the free flow form? Well, yes, yes, yes. Um, every second Wednesday, we have the Free Flow Forum, open forum for comedians, such as Mr. Rollo Boykins, dancers, actors, yeah. poets, MCs, musicians, yeah, yeah, no, all musicians, welcome to come get it in with the live band. We have our feature tonight, uh, the one and only Donald the Dude. Donald the Dude? Oh, Devin the Dude. Y'all know that. Right. Donald the one and only, Donald the one and only. Let's not create no controversy. Oh, it's Donald the one and only? I was about to say. Very, very talented poet from the DMV area. So come on through, show some love. 8 to 11, Red Lounge, 14th Street. I know where Red Lounge is. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, hey. Now, as high as last time, though, Jazz, what's up? Oh, my God. I don't know. I made sure I came prepared in my sober state of mind. Hold on. I didn't say you wasn't high. I said you wasn't as high as last time. No, no, no. Sober state of mind. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Uh, Jazz is cool, man. She's a friend of the show. Yeah, and that is a great show. They got some little It's a lot of young groupies. Oh, young groupies. Jazz has about 18 to about 23. Now you're doing 18 to 23. But 223. 223. 220. Okay. 23. Yeah. Uh, Alright, see you, man. I love you. I'll see you soon. If you're just tuning in, this is the Christina Payne Show at WLBS Radio. Tune in live. Is this new on well, here? Is this the new information over here? No, I think that's been up there. Oh, listenvisionlive.com, right? That's, that's the new one, listenvisionlive.com. Yeah, listenvisionlive.com. Listen and it'll bring you directly here. Directly here. Tune in. We are everywhere. We are in Ultra Countries. <laughs> and um, thank you, God, for everything that you were blessed with. Get to do it. And just everything, like... Oh, yeah, it's Jesus' good. birthday. It's his time right now. Today his birthday? No, but you oh, know, I'm it's about to say Christmas it. time. You can't just make his birthday on any day you want to now. It's Christmas time. Oh, it's Christmas time. We don't know the exact date, okay. you know, but like, this is his time. So mm -hmm. I'm going to celebrate him. Well, what the hell is your Christmas sweater? Uh oh. Well, yeah, you're, you're I'm trying to the dry cleaner, uh, so uh, I thought I'd put on my uh, Sprouse and Snowman scarf. She got the hot girl jacket on. Yeah, the, uh, she got the hot girl jacket on. 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 Well, I got, you know, I got Christmas attire on, per se, but next week I'm coming hard. My, uh, you know, my Christmas sweater is waiting on me. I just That's burgundy. That ain't even red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't no damn red. It's burgundy. This you is got red. This is a shiny burgundy, though. That's a shiny burgundy. Just to clarify, a man just corrected a woman on what color she was wearing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm saying? <laughs> Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> 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 Santa. Yeah, this dollar store Santa hat, man. They made this shit right before I bought it. That's what it looked like. It looked like a Felice Navi die hat. Rollo said my shit look like, uh, what did you say, the planner's peanut dude? Mr. Peanut. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Peanut, man. That's Troy Lamar, aka Mr. Peanut. Hey, that's that's okay. messed up. We're gonna get him a monocle, Chris. Well, um, <laughs> should we play the clip first or bring Rob? Uh, is Rob gonna chime in on the clip? Um, okay. yes. Yeah. 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 See, there we go. Okay. Hey, hit him with the yeah. topic. Yeah, because Olivia's here. Yeah, what's the topic? Hit the topic. Well, the, the topic, topic is. I don't know what we did Okay. Now we have a friend named Tommy Taylor. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Tommy Taylor. And Tommy. this brother is hilarious. And he loves to, you know, put himself on television and stuff like that. And he's pretty much making himself famous. He has a TV show. He has a TV show. And um, so he did this clip 
which was puh freaking hilarious. And my dogs are jumping on the table. And so what happened was that um, it, it's called Abused Black Men. It stirred up a lot of controversy. And um, it's so well edited and written and yeah. scripted and um, casted and everything that like I couldn't even be mad at it. Like, <laughs> it was hilarious. And um, because I'm from San Francisco and I'm from the land of the interracial baby and the land of where white girls and Asian girls have booty. Really? Yes, they do. So all those up. hills, man. You gotta walk all those hills. Everybody got boots. You gotta be like way gangster because it's always cold. Always. No, it's, like, it's, old, it's always like winter and spring. And For real? Yeah, it's you know what I'm saying, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 It was colder right. than it is now yeah. in May. Yes. Right in May. Yes. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he's telling the truth. Um, but like, like you, if you went out there, they would attack you. Because you, you like, they're not used to seeing black people, for real Word. black people. Like, what? like, it's always too many men. Like, me and Troy, Bay 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 Bay. Bay. like, all it is, this is Frisco right here. Like, you, yeah. like, if you are walking with another black person, <laughs> somebody might call the police and be like, <laughs> Too many black people. Oh, that's not it. that's not good. I thought I was gonna be getting the bait. I thought I was gonna no, get harassed. I'm so serious. There's a law where it's like three, if three or more are gathered, they can suspect that you're a gang. Like it's like Oakland is right across the bridge, and that's where all black people have been shipped out to. Sorry. Well, that was angry. Yeah, they let me stay. Right, you know. But what's the topic? But yeah. The um the topic is pretty much um you know we're we're getting into the interracial dating but further than that where at this point in time like who is actually better for a black man per se is it a white woman or is it a black woman and in my you know circumspect should I date a white man or should I be with a black man because of either my education or class or money or you know so on and so forth well i, I guess i wish that the guests would come to uh, me to start speaking because i got my own little opinion on that okay awesome yes um should we get to the cup? sure uh yeah why not let's go to the clip right um also rollo boykins is in it and i make an appearance in it oh yes well. very true yeah 100 yeah <laughs> It's just the link for YouTube, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm a brand new Did you hear that every year over 80,000 innocent black men are abused to bad Oh, no! <laughs> How are you doing, dear? What's going on? The innocent black men are you can't put it back any because it's cutting people off. Yeah, I know. Nutrition <laughs> by undeserving women. Yes, that's right. Even light skinned black men. Cruelty does not discriminate. But together, we can make a difference. <sighs> What's the YouTube Oh, just like 
might want to come back to it, yeah. I don't know what I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Join us at the White Women's Society for the Prevention of Cruelty Against Black Men, the WWSPCABN, and help us rescue hundreds of defenseless black men every day. <laughs> These men don't need much. This is a soft place to rest their heads. Some minutes for their cell phone play, some ill na na, and a pack of new books. <laughs> Join us and donate today. With your contributions, white women and some white men all across America are working to rehabilitate these beautiful black men. <laughs> and with your support, we will send you a personalized photo of a black man in the hands of a good white woman. Remember to report cruelty if you see it. Thanks to you, these black men will have a second chance of happiness. Call the number below today. <laughs> uh, there he is. Uh, that was you at the end, right? Yeah, that was me <laughs> on the couch. Oh, and all, like, oh my woman God. on the cheap board. Well, uh, they edited out what else happened. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you guys to film that? I um, my part about an hour. Just an hour? Yeah. Man. I mean, Tommy was collecting footage for throughout like the span of, I'd even say like three weeks to a month, I'd say he was collecting footage. So, you know, going to take all that footage and then put it together. It was sweet. Yeah, he had all that together before we shot the scene on the right. couch. Right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, that was, that was crazy. Uh, you're funny, man. Thank you. We both were. I mean, you know, they edited. I mean, like you were like all over the couch, and then just like you know, kissing her on the cheek and everything. Like that was too much. That was hilarious. But um, <laughs> the thing about that whole skit was, it, it really after catching yeah. wind and almost go. I don't know what viral is considered, but they got like a half a million views. Yeah. And we got a lot of flack for doing a lot of flack. A lot, a lot of flack. A lot of flack from people in our in the comedy community, and, and so it was crazy. What are people looking at you guys like you support this, or like what? Or like what? What exactly? They felt like we set black women back somehow, like just by being a part of. Do you of date them. black women? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you date white women? I have. That would depend on what you consider dating. Uh, <laughs> 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 Real life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey. Yeah, but no, nah, I'll be as real as I can be. Um, I've been with one white woman in my life. Not been with as far as a relationship, but had sex with. How was that, by the way? It was nice, but it was. It was <laughs> you know, that, you know what I mean? It almost don't count anymore. Because <laughs> Now, this a long time That's ago. unfortunate. Yeah, oh, that was God. a long time ago. And but my thing is, I do not discriminate. I, it's, it's not a race or religion exactly. thing with me. Exactly. You know Shout out saying? to the pink nipples out there. You man. better know this. <laughs> 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 now, Lloyd said that you like women that are not of blackness. I like women in general. So in that statement, of course, I'm a like you know, you know, exotic. Exotica? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't dated a white woman. Yeah. Have you had sex with one? But why is that? Is that like. I mean, I'm house? from a very, very black neighborhood. I'm to a black <laughs> school. Yeah. I haven't been around. I'm not even socialized to being around white women. So I wouldn't even. <laughs> White women on the street, I'm like, what's up? And the way they react, you the swirl. I'm like, what's up, man? I'm trying to find out. They be scared. They be scared. They'll 
intimidated uh, by me. I'll be like, I can't even be myself. I'm too black. Yeah, rich. Wow. This might be shocking, but I've actually dated a white woman before. Oh, that's so <laughs> How is but that? But have you dated a black woman before, Eric? I've never dated a, a black woman before. That means he's had some that's kind of relationship. That's exactly what it means. Wow. Um, well, we have comedian Rob here, who is awesome, awesome, awesome. I love this man. He let me um, come on stage of his room one night, actually. What's up, Rob? I took a dump in his bathroom. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was strong. But, um, but he's worked with Tommy Davidson, Charlie Murphy, Tony Rock, Jeffrey Ross. And um, he is also a future performer for the Armed Forces Entertainment. That's what's up. And, um, and all the world. For the troops, yeah. yeah. Everywhere, Japan, Italy. Africa. That's what's up. Yeah. Hey, I just performed at Andrews Air Force Base last uh, Friday. That's awesome. That, yeah. that was cool. It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. I love the military crowds because they're, especially overseas, because they're just happy to, to not be working. Exactly. Getting shot at. <laughs> like, yes. What kind of jokes do you tell them? I mean, I have a few jokes that are specific to the military. All their acronyms, I kind of make fun of that because it's hard to just understand the language. So. Uh, and then, but then it just transfers into my normal life. I mean, you can't talk about certain things. You can't. They don't want you to talk about it. religion you know or any politics. Right. politics yeah, yeah. I don't really do that anyway. So that matters. Are you able to talk about gays in the military and stuff like that? Uh, well, I've had a few places where they say, don't mention any. Don't mention, don't tell. No, they, they kind of, yeah. Don't they, mention, they, don't tell. I, I didn't know it for, this was my first military experience as far as performing it. Yeah, they told me no politics, no religion. They said that was great. Yeah. But wow. you know what the good thing is about um, the military? Because I had to book some uh, R&B shows for them before, um, for some army bases out here in the area. They always have their money up to Oh, you better know this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. early. Yeah, the like, money's right. Okay, that's well, government. Yes, it's okay. government money. <laughs> the checks be ready yeah. two weeks nah, prior. Nah, it was for me, but it was okay. nice. Okay, yeah. yeah. But they always on time, and that's what I do appreciate. But tell us about, you have a room on uh, tonight, or open mic? Yeah, I do open mic every uh, Wednesday night in uh, Rockville at the Potomac Grill. Potomac Grill, 9 okay. p.m., 1093 Rockville Pike. We do it uh, every Wednesday. Oh, that's every Wednesday? Every Wednesday. And I got this thing in D.C., but it's World Holidays right now, so we're caught up. So we're off until, until February, really. But I want to talk about this video. This thing, he got me fired yeah. up. <laughs> no, because I just have a, a theory. Do you date black women? Why I, women I have do you a date? dated, I'm with a black woman for four years now. That's I'm really? Black yeah. How black is she, though? She got so black, 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 half black like me, or is she like... She better oh, her parents are black. I don't know. Okay. Is that black yeah, enough? Black enough. Yeah. Parents. yeah. <laughs> she better not be fine, Rob. No, she's she super fine. Not be fine. Oh, she better be fine. What you mean? Way, she better not be way fine. too good looking to be with me. Yes. Uh, it's, it's weird. I so, think. how is the sex with your black woman? Oh, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's very nice. And yeah. what is the difference between um, having a black woman and a white woman? And what kind of white are you? Are Caucasian? Like, are you French or Italian or white what dude. kind of white? <laughs> white. I mean, hey, Wait, is your white? You can't, can't just be like Asian. Black. You gotta be like, is she Thai? Is she Laos? Is she Japanese? Filipino? Like, the white guy who likes black poon. Yeah. This is her with Jay Farrow. I just heard with Jay Farrow. So. Oh, I know Jay. Let me see that. Bring it here. She Let's... is Jai Sexy. Yeah. See? Jay is see? my homie. You don't mind me saying. Damn, Jay, right now. Look at the She has big ties. <laughs> yeah. I can love big titties. I, mean, I, mean, I like pretty women. So yeah, I don't. I don't. She does. Let me see that. It's all. Uh oh. Life is too she hard she to eliminate. She got Michelle Obama cheeks. Life That's is too hard nice. to eliminate. Huh? A group of people that you wouldn't date. I mean, why would you do that? I know. I love yeah. white men. Good job. Especially if they got it. I love cool people, and it's yeah. it's wrong to think that I can't find someone cool who's black or white or right. Asian. Or That's right. I mean. Yeah, this is so San Francisco right now. This is such a melting pot. What you feel about the, the the clip, man? I have this is my anything like this. If it's funny and well done, I just I'm offended that someone could be offended. Right. Because that's right. what it's, it's not. Talking. It's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be right. tongue in cheek. It's not the evening news. It's right. like comedy. Right. And if it's well done, and this is well done, and, and it's it funny, well and it's done. smart, and it is. then you could say, I disagree with that, but I see the humor. Right. They went in on it. They went. They said, that's their problem. That's yeah. their issue. That's their low self esteem issue. They said all types of shit. They actually she was did. my friend. Now, they, they really did. They was, man, they um, We dude, said man. black people, black, well, black women, they, that's who it really was who were more angry than anything. Oh, this, this President Obama said black people back because he has comes from mixed. 
Because I tell you, a lot of people not exactly. But I mean, I, I mean, I didn't even go into defending because I just thought it was funny. And I'm like, fuck it. But I did read the comments, and it was hilarious to see some of the female comedians in our community. Go in. They went pretty hard on us. Calling us. Gay yeah, they said Tyler gay. gay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tyler, no. so it, was, it, it, it wasn't even just we're gay. It, it, I happen to know for a fact Facts. that some of these guys are down low brothers and no. all that. Yeah, yeah. We was like slander. Really? That, that's, See, that's their yeah. issue. Yeah, huh? really. <laughs> that's because a black man left them for a white man or something. Or a white man <laughs> <left them laughs> for something. All right. That's but funny. doesn't Tommy date white women though? And that's I, I don't know. I don't know his right? personal he, you know, I mean, he has a lot of mixed actresses. You know, I mean, white and black actresses Isn't and actors that? on the on the set. Yeah, exactly. Well, so, it's a TV show. You want everyone? Exactly. So I don't. I don't know who he dates though. I'll be honest. Wow. Hilarious. I just don't know what what's the big deal. Like, you, you gotta be built to deal with a black woman. Some black you have to be built. Built which way? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be patient. Like that, you gotta. Yeah. Some black women are combative. That's just what it is. <laughs> oh, so you so, need wrong. Because I don't believe in absolutes. Just like with their beliefs and what they want, what they don't want, you know what they're gonna stand for, what they're not gonna stand for. You have to be built to deal with it. So I say, because I don't believe in absolutes. You know, so. But I, I would tend to think across. I, I think that black women are more combative than white women. Yeah, and I don't think that's necessarily that's not a not necessarily a bad thing because a, a white woman probably more likely to be, be a pushover, be a need, or be passive, but like you get away with something, which isn't a good quality. And somebody, what what do you learn differently um, from dating a black woman than from a white woman? The hair. I learned a lot about yeah. the hair. Yeah. <laughs> I can only Because I actually had this conversation because she goes every week to the hair place and I'm like, I'm not place. trying to be stupid. I really don't know what you do there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Can, do you wash it? Do you get it cut? I don't know if there's camel. I really don't know. I'm like, I'm not trying to be make fun of just right. literally walk me through because I know and they're there for hours yeah is this is another man you're just saying this because you're going to think yeah. like, I don't believe you that you gotta go. I don't know That's I'm hilarious. used to white one minute once a month you know I go once a month yeah which is every week so I'm like I have no idea what happens there Wow. And then so the, at night she wears this. You get to touch it and put, run your hands through it and stuff? Well, she just, she got this, the, the braids recently. Oh, she wow. Just you're, not touching, you're not touching you that all the time. You need to yank those? Oh, no. Nah, but that was, hey, Tina? that was cool because I liked, I'm trying to get, I don't know why I'm showing a picture. You guys can't see it. So are you guys um, going to get married and stuff and have little, little Obamas? Uh, I hope she's not listening. Dodger. Yeah. Dodger, yeah, Dodger yeah, Rob. Little Dodger. Rocks. <laughs> she drops, she drops hints, so. I mean, we're, it's been, I mean, it's. We're like not kids, so you either gotta get married or have a really awkward breakup. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> and that's there's no like that's real talk. Do you mind your kids having nappy hair? I died. Uh, It'll probably be cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would have probably happen. Happen. Yeah. It, it would be a mix. Hey, of sometimes you never know with the mixtures. You know what I'm saying? You never <laughs> the play. mixtures. Especially with black and white, you never know what you're gonna okay. get. Sometimes they come out looking like you. Sometimes they come out looking Puerto Rico. Sometimes they uh, come out looking like Rico. 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 If they do have nappy hair, that's good for me because then I, I can just, you're the hair person. You deal with all that's the hair. True. I don't have anything with the true. hair. Yeah. I don't know how to go to the barber shop. You do that. See, my mom's Filipino, so my younger sister had the nappier, kinkier hair than I did. My mom used to just cut out her naps. Wow. Like, instead of combing them out. Like, she would just cut them out. Wow. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Well, the mom usually deals with the hair anyways. No exactly. exactly. matter the race. It's right. usually the mom thing. Right. With a boy or a girl. So that's true. I figure that's going to be her department. Was this your first black woman? Uh, no, I dated a, <laughs> I dated a black woman before. But the, the, the black woman I dated before was raised by white people. So I, oh, I didn't wow. think that counted really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's fact. Exactly. That's I didn't get the full that's experience. Hilarious. That is real talk, though. No. That is. Like if that's you date why a I was white asking girl, what kind of black is she? Like, how black? Her name is Tawanda. Wow. Uh, it's, it's a black yeah. name, right? Yeah. That's a black yeah. name. Her last name is Jenkins. Exactly. That's it. Jenkins Johnson or something like that. Smith. Yeah, Smith. Nice. It's yeah. love it. That's hilarious. I think it's kind of white, but yeah. Love it. Mm-hmm. To want to love it. Yeah. Gotta love Even it. Even out of all our business. Yeah. I can relate to the father. Wow. wow. Love it. I just want to ask so many questions, but I don't want to be so rude. Ask. Man, Rob's a comedian. He does, does your girlfriend wax? 
Wow. Oh, shit. Down there? Yeah. She, 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 I don't even know how she does that stuff. I'm afraid to, I don't, I just let you, <laughs> yeah. well, it looks nice, because whatever you you're doing. Because you guys prefer that from what I can understand. Like, white men prefer stuff waxed. Oh, you mean like wax bold? Yeah. Oh. Like, you know, looking like it's 12 years old. Black men try to make you feel she, bad about it. Hey. It's not a bald situation. Okay. At least shave it down. That's my opinion. So I mean, I'm, I'm not a bald situation. Yeah, hey, I don't need a baby. Yeah. We know we all grown. Yeah. We know we all grown. Why got black women? Oh, you want me to? You want me to wax? Or what? You a pedophile? I'm like, why got to be all that? Yeah. But having said all, there's no scenario where this was about to happen, and it was different down there than I preferred that I would stop. It's not right. like... Yeah, exactly. You know, it's not, wait a minute, you need to trim it. No, I'm not there. there. There was a bush. We're just naked. Want. We're 90% there. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> she just won't. I don't know. If it was right. like a treasure troll, though, you know what I'm saying? Well, that thing. there might certain things you might not do. Yeah. Oof. In the act. <laughs> you might, but, you know. <laughs> Same. You might get lost in it. Get something in your eye. Like, you know, it's it. like Nigerian hair. Oh my God. <laughs> so in your opinion, in your opinion, Rob, nothing really wrong with the video. You know what I mean? No reason to get offended. I mean, not at all. Exactly. Not at all. I mean, what do you what do you think? He's seriously saying that. That white women are saving black men. You think he's serious? You think he's saying that black women are awful and that it, uh, it takes a white woman to t- save these poor black men from these awful black women? It's a joke. Do you really think he thinks that? Exactly. Of course not. I don't know, Tom. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. It's real talk. I mean, that's why I, partic- I, well, I, I actually, when he casted me in it, I didn't know what I was getting into. But after, no, but after I found out, I thought it was fucking hilarious. So. It's like everything, there's a little bit of truth in it. But that's, it's, yeah. I mean, you exaggerate the truth out. Make it funny. It's like black people loving chicken. I, most of us do. But of course, there's a few of us do who don't right. like chicken. I mean, shit. I like watermelon. Do you like watermelon, Rollo? Huh? You like watermelon? It's all right. I'm not it's exactly. about watermelon. I'll eat it if it's I, I love it. Wait a minute. A few of you don't like chicken? Because I have me seriously. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, do you know? You know a black person doesn't like chicken? I know you. Are an urban legend. Yeah. 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 And you don't like chicken. Do you know the key? So, Angela, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anyone doesn't like chicken. Chicken. Like, okay. I know some people listen to this. It's okay to them. Right. Like, really? That shit is a whole vegetarian. I can eat fried chicken twice a week. I can eat it every day. Just change the side. I eat it every day. Just change the side. Are you serious? Just change the side. I eat it every damn day. I have different ways of fried chicken. You can eat Popeyes every day or like Popeyes every day. Yeah, I can eat it every day. You couldn't 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 eat it every day. Watermelon for breakfast every day. I forget, I'm dark and I'm, I'm built to eat. Me and Rollo are gonna go on the 30 day challenge and eat nothing but chicken for 30 days. We'll oh, let you know what happens at the end. You want to shoot a documentary? You, know, you actually get buffed because that's a lot of protein and, and um, fatty oils. People like Bruce. who are trying to lift weight and like. Create I'm a sex it all. I'm a sex all for the chicken. Well, so they eat grilled chicken. Yeah, exactly. Not fried chicken. Everything. That's great. I never seen something. I gotta go to Popeyes. I'm training for a marathon. Yeah, I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole buggy. I was like, really? That's he, he was truly a Negro. Yeah, yeah. he was. Yeah. Shout out this way. <laughs> Watermelon every day for breakfast. That's good for you though. And you know when slaves were in the fields, they needed that hydration. Like so, hey, that's what my dad gave me when I was running track. I got a question for you. I was watching Family Feud. Okay. And you know know how Family Feud, Feud? the new Family Feud, with Steve Harvey. Which is, I'm mad about that because that was the last thing that white people had. White men was game show. That's the last thing that we had. Oh my God! It's we, not we had we had that unlocked. We had Ben Sajak and Chuck Woolery. Oh, we like Steve Harvey. Doing we had, his job. and then and Steve Harvey came along, and he's so good at it. I'm like, we're never gonna get game shows again. All right, but it seems like every week it's the white family versus the black family. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they yeah. do it first. But they had what's it called at the end? Fast Money. What's the term? Yeah. All right. The, the ten questions. The black family one. Okay. And the question was, what is a fruit that you traditionally only buy one of? Them? Uh, oh. The obvious answer is watermelon. 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 Exactly. I'm thinking, really? You're gonna give the brunt? Yeah. The softball. <laughs> <laughs> really? Come on, so Harvey. I see what's going on. Do something about it. So she says kiwi. I'm like, <laughs> kiwi. <laughs> it's like 
I'm thinking, is she afraid of the stereotype? She doesn't want to say it. It's cantaloupe. It's cantaloupe or pineapple or water. Or water. Right. 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 So I'm thinking, really? The, then the next girl, her sister, also black arms. She says, orange. Wow. And Steve Harvey makes fun of her. Are you going to buy a bag of one orange? Yeah. So I'm, my question is, did they just not want to say watermelon because they are afraid of the stereotype? Because how can they not think well, watermelon? They are yeah, effing idiots. Because so. that's what I think. I I think, think so. Did anybody say watermelon? Did the white family? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, it was at the, the end. Black? It was at oh, the right, end right, where it was just okay, two people right, right. to go for the thing. So how many, when she said kiwi, how many people? Like two people and like two people. They, they lost. They didn't win the money. But I'm thinking, did she, wow. did they risk $20,000? Yes. Wow. You know what? That's a good question. I wonder. Did you have to a lot of flag for for dating a black woman? Do you get looks and stuff when you're out holding hands, or do you hold her hand? Uh, yeah, I, I don't really notice that. Do you grab um, booty and pose her? I do that. Yeah, is that wrong? You said you rubbed her. I do that. I do that. You know, it's a spat. You know you piss a black people off. No, nah, just a little. Just let you know I'm there. I have told jokes before, where because I tell the whole part of my act about, about dating a black woman. And... The only time anyone's ever got mad at me was it was a it was a black guy. Really? Weird. Jealous. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, which that is, is not jealous. that is not weird. No, he's jealous, jealous, man. We agree. I, you, I would think it'd be some redneck white guy. Huh? But really they're like, oh, that's cool, they don't care, right? But I know but that the one time I got any flack from someone and it was black. But I felt bad because I because it was one of these shows where you couldn't really see the crowd because uh, the lights. And I thought it was just like redneck white team mess with me. So I started yelling at him. He's like, no, the black guy said it. I'm like, oh, really? He's going to blame the black guy. <laughs> but really, he was the black guy. So, yeah. then, so then I get everybody mad at me. Whatever. It's a bad, wow. bad night. No, it's the same thing. Like if you're dating a, a nice looking white woman, I'm sure, you know, some people are going to give you flack too. So. Yeah, and I, I mean, she's really cool and she's awesome. Every woman. I mean, and not my, my, my family wouldn't care about that regardless. So it's just, and her family you have dated white women, women yeah. before though, right? Yeah. The difference in the sex though is, is crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I, I, I mean, I think it's all about the, the person. To me, generally, the the person, the best sex is not the person you want to marry because that person is a little crazy because they're willing, really? they're willing to do things that you don't want a respectful person to do. Wow. <laughs> like, I, you're doing things that are awesome, but I can't have you be my wife. And That's a lie. That's <laughs> so many of the Please come from behind the curtain. Did somebody say this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. No. Was that a freak? Come and speak. Freak. Freaks got good ears. Hey, Eric, yeah. you got another mic? No, you hear, freak. You can hear, hear a door. A, a key. Unlock yeah. the door. Yeah. Oh, I, I'll marry you, freak. You no. say that, you say that, but then but things happen. As no, like, long as she's not like, freak like, out, it's a different. Are you talking about like swallowing your, your tongue and spitting it back on you, type yeah. freak, or like when you talk about like spitting type freak? I don't do it. I don't do it. That's just unsanitary, Nash. But what you just say? Say what you said before the booty hole thing. You heard this? Um, swallowing cum and then spitting it back on. That deserves a word. That sounds that. Right, and I, I love that, but I just, just that's that sounds awesome. But then I just, can't say, hey, meet my mom. It's just weird. That well, just, <laughs> that's that good exactly. I'm talking about. Because somebody did that to me one time, and I was like, ooh. Somebody spit you. Hold on. Yeah, and I was like, whoa. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa,
know, because they, they have to do that. They got right? extra salivatory yeah. glands in their mouth from the eating. Yeah. Right. Ugly <laughs> women. Ugly women, too. Ugly women, because they, 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 they need to compensate. They figure, I have to have it. Exactly. You can't be ugly and not be good at that. Yeah, you, you hold it's not. A, it's illegal in some states. Did you know that? <laughs> in Wisconsin, you can't be ugly. But, 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 but the, uh, Wisconsin. the stereotype, in my case, they bring true... Um, yeah, why don't you definitely are not stingy about that? Is that true? Because I damn near had to get um, my last girl to know, sign a contract. Who else aren't stingy about that? Spanish descendants. Oh, it's true. Very true. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to New York if I was trying to date a Latina because I, I don't know. I don't say nothing. Like I love El Salvadorian, but some of the women down here be shaped like potato. Yeah. Now, after after fifteen, they're done, right? After <laughs> it seemed it seemed like it. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. Done. I might have to go to the, the Long Island or something. You know? Yeah, after fifteen, they're done. What about uh, like like men? Latino men do something different than white men or black men or Asian well, men? Well, um, Asian men and Latino men, I found, um, have been a little on the smaller side. So um, they have, like, that's why they dance and they move like that and they move quick. They you know what I'm saying? They're like, ding, 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 ding. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> Listenvisionlive.com. Are y'all in here sipping? Uh, huh? I'm just throwing some, uh, <laughs> some, some no Moscato. No Moscato. I'm just throwing some Moscato juice. Didn't offer me any. It's kind of rude. <laughs> 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 Bye, Sonny. Oh, you know, Sonny. Yeah, 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 Sonny. Yeah,
and they did it. Uh, 200 years from now, so we're all going to look basically the same, and then you'll I lose that no. sort of identity. I can't speak for everybody. Like me personally, me being dark, and that's like the epitome of black. Like this, is, you can't disguise my black. I'm black <laughs> everywhere. Like me, I want you black ass kids. I want to show my kids what cocoa butter can do for them. See? Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that 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 don't that don't reflect in who you date though, right? You don't date dark skinned women. I mean, my girl light skinned, but that's yeah, exactly. Know, so so, so that's kind of it. that's kind of hypocritical then. So. That doesn't mean you're going to come off black. That's not Just because I, 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 I haven't dated a, a dark skinned woman doesn't mean that, you know what I'm saying, that's not my preference. I really don't have a preference. It's just, you know what I'm saying. You don't prefer one look over the other. So my thing is, if you don't have a dark skinned woman, What's the problem with a white guy having? I never said that was a problem. I'm talking okay, about okay, okay, I don't believe in absolutes. I bring okay. everything inward. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak for nobody else. I don't have a problem with it. I mean, if you with somebody that make you happy, then that's just what it is. Yeah, man. Whoever put that that penis in there most good, that's who you should be with. But if, is that all it takes? Huh? Is that all it takes? Uh, not it's all it takes, but that, yeah, I'm going to say, that helps. It's like the main course. Yeah, it helps. It helps a lot. Um, Sex is definitely... Something that a relationship holds together. Well, let me ask you: Who was the one that said that you don't want to take a woman who's a freak home to your mom? Uh-huh. You didn't marry that. I Rob said that, and that. No, no, that and, and I thought that was interesting because a lot of time men will cheat because their wives, after a while, they're not doing the things that right. they enjoy. They're not doing and in, and pleasing their man. They, it's the 80-20 rule. So my question is. Why can't you find somebody that blows your socks off in bed and does the all the others? Because honestly, if you marry somebody that doesn't pleasure you the way you like to be pleasure, or take it up the back backside, or go down on your knees, or whatever it is, whatever it is that you truly, truly like, because there are a lot of men who like it in the backside, but claim they wouldn't marry a woman unless you did that. They're not going to be happy, and they're going to cheat because they're going to go to some woman. Who's gonna lay it out the way they like it and lay it out well? And I and I think that's the problem. That's why it's the problem. She's not 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 she's
And the ones that do end up sending you to the OBGYN with a bruise. Right. Because you don't know what the hell you're doing yeah. and you don't know how a woman's body is built. Yeah. 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 Take that, buddy. Yeah. 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 Not this. Right. Just yeah. 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 You're bruising yeah. our service. Come on, come on. I know. All of this. All of this. All of this. Yeah. Uh, and that's another thing. Love that's another thing, young yeah. man. Learn yeah. the anatomy of a woman. Yeah. If you don't know how a woman, when you enter the cervix, then the uterus, and then you have the outside. So if you go up too far, if your penis is large, and you're going up too far, you are directly hitting the cervix and bruising. But what I'm saying is, my stroke is multicultural, so what I'm doing... <laughs> Think, oh, I'm hitting the walls and I'm hitting the You're not. I didn't say all that. I'll be maneuvering. You be maneuvering. But you have to be, you really have to know how a woman's body is built. A baby can come out of Yes. It. So you're not going to do anything. Right. You just have to know. Who tends to choke? Right. Who tends to choke? Right. 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 I like your yeah, yeah, I like the show. 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 I like the Yes. Yeah, it's true. I'm with the table. Hey, I, I don't like microwave food. I like home to like meat falling off the bone. Don't get it twisted. I like a fast bag sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I mix it up. Roll your keys. I'm good. It's not so annoying, girl. Oh, my God. Sorry, sorry, honey. No, but it's really a lot. You have a lot of young men out here who are wound out and don't know what the hell they're doing because they don't. They think because the woman is screaming and the majority of them are faking we are because most women don't know how to reach an orgasm. They're yeah, that's true. Tell them again. That's true. That's true. Women, that's women, true. women learn their bodies when they're uptight. Uh, I know, know women who please. don't masturbate. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's another okay. thing. Girl, that's is you crazy? Ms. You don't masturbate. Ms. Masturbate, Ms. masturbate little You don't heifer. masturbate. You don't know your body. You don't know your body. You're too damn uptight. Yeah. You're uptight. You're absolutely right. You're uptight. I masturbate. Learn your body. Ain't nothing wrong with you. I'll have somebody teach you. So when a woman does doesn't have an orgasm. What what percentage of it is her fault or the men's fault? It's it depends. A lot of women do not reach orgasm. It's her fault. You said 89% of women do not have orgasm in during intercourse. That's yeah. right. Hey, I can't that. Of I'm glad I, I, know know I, know I, know I know when you're faking too. Damn it. Yeah, I, I, and men think they know. No, I do know. You don't know. Damn it, I know. You know. I know. What are you talking? Which group of yours are you talking to? Talking to all of them. I know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. You know your name. I don't. I, nah, bro, I'm trying to tell you. you I don't know. Because a lot of men are like, oh, she was so wet. I know I made it. But you no. have different no. kinds no. of words. Yeah, you can. That's what men don't realize. See, too. Like, you can have when it's the overacting. Don't overact with me. When you're trying to win an Oscar, I know your ass. It's, it's, we gonna get no, no, no. I said when you, I was like, come on, man. I know that. Too much. Yeah, too much. It's squirting. It's squirting the old ass. That is a, yeah. Wait, is that? Man. I hear my brother. First time I seen the shit happen, nigga, I thought she peed on me. I was me scared too. Of that. I ate. Oh, yeah, you know who you are. Yeah, we had to flip my bed over. You know who the hell you are. <laughs> you know are. Talking about yeah. drinking cum. It's, it's, it's either that or she has an infection. I was. Oh. See my name. That's a bust. I'm just here to educate you young men, okay? I'm just trying to educate you. It could mean she has an infection. I didn't have a condom on either, so why you won't put that in my head? Damn, you don't know. You've been alive a long time ago, brother. A long time ago. It doesn't go away. You just go away all the time. I got checked out, Rob. I got checked out. I'm clean. You know I'm clean. Shout out to you. know I'm talking to. You know I'm clean. Keep it healthy. Keep it healthy. Stay the pain. I'm clean. That's funny. And Rob Mayer. Oh, I'm doing undertones. Now we're listening. I swear. I'm going to get a jacket. What happened to the Christmas sweater? I was at the gap. See, you know, my Christmas sweater. Put the dumb ass hat on. No. Look, we don't, next week. I'm sorry. That joint is young. She is. 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 She
Don't worry. 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 Don't
I'm sorry. You're swallowing your fears. Oh, I had to swallow my fears. Swallow. What, what else you swallow? Uh-oh. I'm water. Oh, okay. Pills. I have a little class here, okay? Just Please. Just grab your pretend. ass five years ago. Right. Just pretend for the next person. He was minutes. one of your groupies. Yeah. I really was. Really? Yes, so, really. Still can be. I told him I'll call you a cougar. I, and like, I said Olivia. I hate that. that. What was, what oh, I hate that. You're like a tiger. I hate that. I do. She's a beautiful woman. I do. I do. And, you know, not to be racist, but I feel like cougar <laughs> is a term for, I believe, white women that you see on television with the fake breasts and the right. fake lips and the fake, and they're going after the white guys to prove that, you know, they still got When I hear that word, that's who I picture. You know what I mean? Just, oh, yeah. you know, like the girls on Mob Wives, I mean, with the big, you know, and peculiar, and they wear all that yeah. trashy jewelry and yeah. sunglasses. Like, black women, we age, we, you know, black don't Absolutely. crack. We don't, we don't age, so we, we can naturally pull young men. My girlfriend is 90 years old. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, have, I have a cousin that is 62 years old, and if she walked in this room, everybody's penis would be hard. Really? That's a strong Bad. Where's she at now? I, she's in St. Louis. Well, let's call her up. <laughs> I want to see if this shit is She's like a right. grandmother nine times. She is bad. She's like 6'1", my complexion, wow. blonde hair, like okay. greenish blue eyes. Nice little butt. Um, yeah, little round yeah but she's all little. legs. She used to be a model. Okay. She's, but she's bad. She's okay. bad. Six yeah. one. You gotta have legs. She's bad. Yeah. I hope you got it. So, oh, talk I just that. have to thank my family for my genetics. Yeah. Um, I hate to go back into the past, um, but because like we all kind of grew up like listening and admiring you and all of that, and um, you want to know what happened? I kind of do. Um, and because the funny part is, is that I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but like when I was um, in '03, I did that Miss DC pageant or whatever, and I was runner up. But that's where I met oh. Olivia. I just got fired the day before that. That's the thing. It was my joint was Saturday. Day and I didn't care to be in it. I, I didn't even take a shower that day. I didn't do my hair. Just wore my old prom dress. Yeah, I really didn't care about this pageant. I hate pageants. So, but she was one of the judges. And when I found out she was one of the judges, I was like, oh hell yeah, maybe I should go to this pageant, right? It was fun. So I went to go to the pageant, and at the time I was like smoking weed and all that, and I was just like, well, they just call these ten last holes names so I can go smoke this one. She was like, I would have given you, I got fourth runner up or third runner up or something like that. She was like, I would have let you win and given you the real award if there was a real award. You know what I'm saying? Because all these chicks in the joint were fake and just trying to get famous off of just yeah, yeah, being cute. So and doing since they were yeah, three. They were just all whack. So pretty much, I was just up there speaking some realness, and I was just like, I just want to be, you know, doing what I'm supposed to be doing across the world as we doing now in the right. name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, you know, into run into her at um, Magic when I had artists come in in town and stuff like that. Um, she Olivia's always been pleasant. She's always been a fighter. She's always been hilarious. She's always been such an inspiration. Um, so many women look up to you and appreciate you and. Like, just to wake up to your voice in the morning, my morning did not feel correct without doing you one. So fun. that next morning, Monday morning, when <laughs> so I, I tuned in and I was so Can I tell you how many phone so calls I got that morning? Oh my, oh my god. god. It was crazy. Like I was I, I, I stopped listening to the rest car show. I mean shout out to the rest car, I still love you. But I didn't I did not tune back into the rest car show after that Monday, after I met you. And I was just like what the freak happened? And so, like, KYS let you out of, like, a contract early? Well, it was it, like, it was okay. actually one of the most devastating um, blows to my career. Not just really for losing the money, um, <laughs> but just the way that it went down. It was right. just really, really grimy. Because when you work with people, we were together for seven years. Right. And we were actually, Russ and I were actually friends. Right. I mean, we were... Buddies. You can hear I mean, the best friends. Everything. I would talk to that Negro like three or four times a day. Right. We go out to lunch. We get pissy, drunk. You know, we crown each other's shoulders. We both had hypertension. We were both on the same pills. I mean, this is the whole thing. So um, it was devastating for me emotionally. 
Um, and I had another year on my contract. Mm. So it was kind of crazy. I was like, I was going into renegotiations because the show had become so popular. Right. And it they was wanted awesome. to, it was Yeah, they wanted to lock everybody into a five-year deal. And the way that it would go, the pyramid of the people as they stood on the show, they would work their way up to get to everybody signed. And then Russ's contract was the last contract to be done. So they would want to make sure every, all pieces were in place. And I was that second tier. And um, it was just, you know, I had, you know, an attorney agent who negotiated with them and made an offer. I wasn't asking for crazy money, but we were on, I mean, almost 60 stations, uh, maybe 10 of them, major market stations. And we were performing. We were one of the best morning shows, not only in D.C. We kicked everybody's ass in D.C. Consistently. I mean, for years. Jack Diamond with his 400,000. We whooped his ass. Non-stop. Okay, and that's what I was talking about, the difference between white and black radio. Those guys can keep their jobs. They're still on the air and consistently get their asses whooped. While in black radio, you can have one bad book and they will blow your ass out in a disrespectful way. So, anyway, um, that's just a little background information. So, I was, I was still under contract. I had another year and we were negotiating and... You know, my attorney did some research, and because we were so popular and in a lot of the, um, they call research, I was coming back just as strong as Russ. You know, when we go out, you know, I would be just as popular as Russ. We were a team. You know, and I believe a lot of times things happen for a reason, because, you know, God, as you said, has a plan for everybody, and I always knew I had the ability to do, this, do that morning drive radio on my own because when he would leave, I would hold it down. Oh, right, right. So I knew I had the ability to be more. Right. But we were doing so well. So long story short, um, uh, after three or four times going back and forth, um, they snatched the deal off the table and they boxed up all my stuff wow. in Lanham, even though I live right through Are you serious? And they shipped it down to my attorney's office down on Vermont Avenue and I was at the hair salon and my, um, attorney called me and he said I need you to come to the office and I went to the office and he, he read the rebuttal letter and that was it but my boy who worked up in Boston hit me he was like are you okay as I was driving and I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, call your attorney. And I knew then I had gotten blown out. Oh, my God. Out. And the best thing, the worst thing was my best friend in the world uh, was out of town. He wasn't even here and didn't even call me to, and then played like, oh, well, you know, I didn't know about it. Wow. But the blessing of the entire situation, one, I was still under contract, so I had that six figures rolling in and set on my ass. But a week later, I found out I was pregnant with my daughter. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it was, it, you know, God had a plan, and um, wow. I sat and had my daughter you had to um, for a year yeah. and not work. And she was born in August, oh. and in February, I was online. And Doc Winter, who is one of the top-ranking officials at uh, Clear Channel, hit me up and said, you know, we'd like to, for you to come to Tampa. We want to talk to you about doing a show. And I was like, I'm not really interested in doing co -host. He's like, no, we want you to do the show. Awesome. So I went down there to see. First, I looked on the map to see where Tampa was and found out they had a football team and they were near water. I was right. like, yes. Because okay. um, <laughs> I didn't know. All I, knew, I mean, everybody knows Orlando or Miami, but I didn't know Tampa. Right. And I was like, okay, the Buccaneers are down there. Great. So crazy football fan and uh, within a month you know they it was a very easy move they made it very easy it came they sent movers we packed in the middle of an ice storm and um, maybe two weeks later I did my own show down there for like three and a half four years and it was solid I mean we, we basically turned Tampa upside down they had never experienced or had anything like that of an urban radio feel um, like that. And then again, the last day, we were talking about how do you know you're going to get fired? And um, they called me into the office, the old office with the human resource, <laughs> this guy and this guy, and they were like, your services are no longer needed. I mean, that's how they cut you back. Radio I got fired like that before, too. But we're going into a different direction, that's what they say. We're still in gangs. So I was still in gangs. <laughs> But again, I was still under contract. We so a, that's the beauty of having a contract. The company I was working for had their own little gas thing that they used to gas the trucks up with, and I was gassing my car up with the shit. Uh, and uh, one of the vice uh, presidents seen me doing the shit. I did that. And I knew Several I, times. I knew when I seen that. You gotta be getting good with the street team because they got the credit card. Son of a bitch looking at me. I said, 
he gonna tell him. Ah! And they called me in the office that day. I knew I was gonna get fired. You see the human resource person there? Exactly. You about to get blown out. Stuff like that. Um, it's really difficult to go anywhere from DC, and I've left, gone to Boston, came back left, went to Tampa, came back. It's very difficult to go anywhere once you've lived in D.C. Why? Because, well, I think it's because there's so many progressive African Americans here, right. and the mindset of the African Americans is because we're, there's so many educated, multicultural people in general. So when you go somewhere where it's black and white, black and white, or and very few minorities, it's a really difficult um, adjustment. And the African Americans in Tampa, I'm not going to say they weren't Progressive, but I was just used to Washington D.C. There were a lot of things that would go on. Plus, it was a red state. Um, I remember I had a bumper sticker on my car yeah, like, that said, uh, "Nobody died when Clinton lied," and that somebody ripped that joint off my car. Wow! They were just, and then, you know, you have people riding around with the Confederate, the Confederate flags. Wow. And yeah, Ku Klux Klan was down there. I mean, it's just, you know, the whole mindset. She didn't learn. Like and I'm militant, years. so I'm gonna say what I want to say. That's what I'm talking. That mouth so, again. That, 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 that mouth. Kirk right. just went down there. I know him. Yeah, he's got it on a sports, some sports station down there. I know him. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's really a nice place to raise a family. I will say that the cost of living is very cheap, and it is a beautiful place um, outside of hurricane season. Mm. That's warm. No, that. But it, yeah. it is beautiful. That's the only thing about Florida: is just the tornadoes and hurricanes. And well, it's only from what November to. What is it, November, December, January? That, no, it just, is in November. That's just too much for me to think about. Like, am I going to have a house next year? But the good thing <laughs> about hurricanes is that you have a long time to prepare for it. Oh, wow. Um, and I, I think I, we went through like four or five since we were down there. Charlie, which was hellacious because that was supposed to come to Tampa, mm -hmm. and it turned. But it, it, you get so much time. It's not like... You wake up and everything's, you know, you get like, you know, they know when it's coming, so you oh. have weeks to get. It's not an earthquake. That yeah, way. exactly. Oh, okay, okay. So oh, okay. you I get you. time. Like if you want to leave, you can leave. Oh, okay. If you want to stay, you can put things up and go get your water and, you know, and Florida doesn't trip like they do here. Okay. You know, and Jeb Bush, even though I'm a Democrat. I gotta give props to Jeb Bush because he never ever allowed folks to go without in the state of Florida. Oh. And so if he ran for president, um, we'd be in good shape with him because he takes care. He took care of people in Florida okay. during those hurricanes. He has a little freaks down there too. Where? In Tampa. There's freaks everywhere, baby. No, but I, I'm, I'm talking about Tampa in general, though. Tampa got a different kind of freaks. Um, next to Las Florida. Vegas. Tampa is the biggest, most well-known place for strip clubs. Yeah. Next to Las Vegas. Wow. Like people, the girls travel to go to Tampa and to Vegas. Those are the two, and the Bunny Ranch. They make the rounds. Oh wow. And in Tampa, they have the not the AVNs, but it's a, something equivalent to that. You know your freaky video. stuff, don't you? You brought your freaky shit, man. I know, okay? So you a happy man at home. Oh, in somewhere. Vegas every year. <laughs> What's her? As a matter of fact, one of her, um, the girl who had all the babies, Optimum, she's nominated for like three uh, AVNs. You know she's doing porn now. Oh, yeah. She's, uh, how, how would, no, did you see, yeah, how was her movies? I haven't seen them. I don't think I want to see that. She's had no eight chance eights. I want to see that. Octopussy? She's, she's probably going to have like eight men. Uh, I mean, what's this saying? Octopussy might not be better. Okay. She's up for three AVNs, though. Well, we have one of your um, old friends on the line. Um, Numbers of You, a numerology guide for everyday living. Uh, Mr. Lloyd Strayhorn. Oh my God! Mr. Lloyd Strayhorn, are you there? Is he there? Hey, how you doing, beautiful? I am awesome. I miss you and I love you so much. So many people have been asking about you and for you and everything. And we actually even have oh, Miss Olivia Fox on the show with us today and she says she remembers you from way back in the day. Boston, DC, everywhere. Lloyd, how are you, honey? I am fine, thank you. And who is this, Christina? It's Christina and Olivia Fox. Oh, I love Olivia Fox, that's my girl. Uh, yeah. No, how are you doing, honey? <laughs> 
Yeah, what's your birthday? November the 13th, and I truly need to know something because I'm in a true transition in my life and I need to hear some good news. Now, hold up. You're November the 13th? Yes. Well, I've got some good news for you. Things are about to take off as compared to what you've been doing this year. I can tell you that this year things have been kind of iffy. Up in the air about relationships, living arrangements, and working situations. Yes. Since October, just before your birthday, you started sensing or seeing some light at the end of your tunnel because things are about to open up for you big time. Yes. We'll be moving to Italy. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, he got quiet. <laughs> um, we have Rob Mayer in the studio. He's a comedian. What, what's your birthday, Rob? September 12th, boy. Okay. Yep. Uh, a man that started out with older women and wound up with younger women. A man who is workaholic. A man with sensitive skin. A man who gets cold very easily. And a man who has had to put some things behind him. And right now, right after his birthday, about two weeks after his birthday, going into October, he decided to kind of step out on faith, do things on his own, or head his life or mindset in a whole new direction. And that's what, exactly what he wants to do this year. Man, Lord, there's some, there's some nuggets of truth in there, I would say. Yeah. Do you see that he dates black women in there? Yeah, exactly. His dreams, <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -oh. his dreams are about to come true, like but he is also beginning to go through a weeding out process, waking up uh, again two months ago saying, you know what, I don't need this, I don't need that, oh. and maybe looking at some individuals or situation in his life and saying, you know what, I don't need you guys either. Oh. I know. I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to turn 40. I'm going to start thinking about these things. So. Wow. Congratulations. You don't look 40 at all. I'll take that. Though. Yeah, that's good shit. He's a man that's very popular, which is why I talk to him to sneak around because he bumps into people everywhere he goes. That's very true, but I would never sneak around. So, well, that's one of the reasons why you should, because you're always bumping into somebody. Uh, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Wow. That's hilarious. All right, that's cool. That's um, before we get to any other birthdays, Lloyd, you know today is 12, 12, 12. Yes. What, what's up with that? For today. Well, uh, I tell people when they wake up, I've done about two or three radio shows already. In fact, I was on Fox 5 this morning with Tony Perkins about six something this morning. But I was explaining this way. This will be the last time of this decade that these numbers will come together like 222333, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And now we're finally at 12, 12, 12. This won't happen again until January 2101 which means that's a way, way down the road. And although this has been given supposedly the day of the last days, uh, as I explain it, ever since man has walked the earth with God, man has always predicted the end of time. And the one thing I know for sure is they're not here, but Mother Nature still is, and that's what's gonna count. So when people wake up tomorrow morning on the 13th, and see the sun and all of its glory shining, they'll know it's okay. Then they're talking about, well, what about the 21st, which is reversing the 12 and turning it around. Right. Because for the Mayan, the ancient Mayan culture in Mexico, Guatemala, that area, they will be ending a 5,172-year calendar. The Mayans have several calendars, a short calendar, but the one that they're going to end the celebration on on the 21st of 2012 is the long calendar. And this one will be not just, uh, not end of days, but it will be actually a celebration, a time of enjoyment, a time to start the new cycle again, and their next cycle will end on October the 13th, 4,772. We won't even be here, so they don't even need to worry about it. Because <laughs> I haven't been buying Christmas presents because I wanted to wait to see the world end. That's so real. That's so real. It's real money. I told people that if people are thinking about signing their last will and testament and selling their earthly possessions on the 13th, the next day, tomorrow, they're going to be sorely disappointed. Mm. That's and great. if you're waiting for the 21st, thinking, oh, okay, they go be there, so it's going to be on the 21st, again, you will be sorely disappointed. Mother Nature will still be here. Now, some of us 
may not be here that much is true but mother nature will be here believe me Lord, this Troy Lamont right here. Um, I beat that case. Huh? I beat that case. You told me that legal oh, yeah, issue I was going that. through, that I was going to be okay, and I was actually, I'm okay. Good. You owe me a hamburger, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed, brother. Hey, you got that, man. Uh, that made me proud, i tell you that much. You know, what's interesting, I'm coming into Washington on Friday. I'll be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I've been trying to meet the beautiful Christina Payne face to face. I would love to see Olivia Fox. I haven't seen that girl in woo. Yes. But she is still as pretty as ever. That much I know. Yes, she Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Man, and them, I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it is it's so good to hear your voice. Your voice. <laughs> it's so good to hear your voice. Thank you, thank you. And, and, and uh, Christina, mm -hmm. later on, can you please give Olivia my phone oh, number? Of course. So Absolutely. Can you call me so I can get birthday reading privately? Yes. You give Olivia um, my phone number too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have um, a new intern. Her name is Nicole. And her, her birthday is March 22nd. Do you have any um, good tidings for her? Well, Nicole, first of all, she's a very sensitive woman. She likes to think outside the box. She is a young lady ahead of her time, and if I had to hang a motto over her door, I would, it would be to know me is to love me. Uh, a lot of things are about to happen for her where she's getting her act together. She's starting to get her ducks in a row. She wants to get her life more structured, more organized, and have a plan or a purpose or a methodology of doing the things she wants to do. And she has a natural gift toward radio, television, computers, the mechanical, mathematical sciences, engineering, um, all those things. She's a brilliant young lady. She's slapping it up in the background. <laughs> Thank you. She's clapping it up in the background. And she will always attract odd and unusual relationships. So I know when she was coming up, her mother would say, honey, where'd you find him at? Or her girlfriend say, yo, what's that about? You know, you know how you women have that talk that only women can have. So I'm sure that women have sometimes questioned her relationships or the guys that she's been with. And she will find that the more she's interested in them, the less they're interested in her. And the less she couldn't care whether they never, ever call her another day, thank you. Well, they want to sweat, sweat her and commit themselves to her. So she's in a very interesting situation with relationships from time to time. Mm, okay. Um, I have a new assistant. Her name is Gigi. And um, she's a uh, Filipino Asian, and her birthday is November 21st. November 21st? Mm -hmm. Did you say November 21st? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, this person, I don't know whether that was the one that called on the phone, but this person is filled the last day of Scorpio because on the second day, the 22nd, the next day, rather, it turns to Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. But in this case, being a last Scorpio, it tells me she's a very youthful young lady. Mm -hmm. She brings, uh, as I may have said, sunlight to dark corners, a very engaging, a natural flirt, which I didn't mention, <laughs> and uh, not to wreck homes or break up relationships. It's just that she does certain things to make sure she's not slipping. That's what she's about. Mm -hmm. uh, she's very ambitious. If you tell her she can't do this, that, and the other, she is very determined to prove you wrong. Oh, wow. This is the year she stepped out on her own to move her life in a new direction. And as we talk right now, she's heading into a relationship cycle. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that was who answered the phone, who was talking to you earlier. Trying to get you Yes, out. and I was explaining to you, she, she could be multilingual. She has a talent with languages. Yes, yeah, she's- As well um, as dealing with men from other cultures, too. Yes, yeah, she um, speaks Tagalog and how many other dialects do you speak? Um, I don't speak any of the dialects anymore, but I do speak a little bit of Spanish just because of it's right. Spanish, Tagalog, English. Mm -hmm. And she loves well, black men. The thing is this, whoever this young lady is, <laughs> if she's ever there. stranded in a foreign country, country, she would never have a problem with the locals. Oh, in she fact, would. they would always she ask would her, right in. would you like to stay longer? <laughs> you yeah, will have no <laughs> trouble meeting a man in a faraway land. Yes. That's hilarious. Um, we have a November 22nd for Chavis. 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 Another November? 
Yeah. Well, Chavis is actually a man ahead of his time who likes to think outside the box. If everybody's doing something one way, Brother Chavis, trust me, has got his own way of how he wants things done. He tends to, he feels comfortable. Actually, he's, he had, he's had four types of relationships from this birthday. He has attracted older women, younger women, women from different cultures, and every now and then a long distance relationship where he's in one county like Prince George, and then that might be in another county like Montgomery, uh, you know, whatever, Prince George, Montgomery County. I think those are some of the counties down there. Or he might be in one state, she in another, one country, he in another, he on the East Coast, her on the West Coast, uh, things of like that. But this is a man that is very unique, he is very different. He's a genius in his own way. He also has a gift with his hands. That is, he may not think of himself as a mechanic, but if he needs to try to do something and nobody helps him, he will try to see what he can do himself. And the year that he is entering into for 2013, it's the year that may test him a bit, but it's the kind of year whereby he is now going to be in a very strong position to move himself forward the way he wants to. Hmm. Sounds good. That's my cousin. So yeah, that's good. Wow. That's good. Um, our my other co-host, uh, Ronald Boykins, his is April twenty seventh, nineteen eighty seven. Yes, sir. Anything new for him for the upcoming? Uh, April twenty seventh. Other than him thinking he's the greatest thing since ice cream. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you are right. Damn it, you lie. He has. Since the latter part of, of September through now, have been plotting and planning to take his life and his affairs in an entirely damn new man, How do you know? Damn. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't take orders well, which means his challenge is to ultimately get his own, because wow. he's never like be told what to do, and he's always been old, which is why he's never ever had a problem dating older women. Um, I, I, I would say that from his, and his name, I mean, excuse me, and his birthday also says, although he's at the radio station, it also indicates that he may have pursued careers or occupations where he's worn uniforms or handled tools or machines or instruments. Is that true? I am right, he would have done well in law enforcement, the military, construction, <laughs> engineering, things of that nature. Wow. That's a, that's crazy. That's impressive. Wow. Um, anything about his love life coming up or anything? Oh, shit. Uh huh. Anything coming up for him? Yeah. Well, yes, actually. Let me see. One, two, three. This month of December is he's in his prosperity month, which means he has the possibility of making a little bit more money than he usually has been making over the last couple of months. Wow. It's yeah. also a good time for him <laughs> if he's at any legal matters that has to be resolved it will definitely be resolved in his favor now mm. and uh this is a time where he's also thinking of expansion working on the new and improved him mm. and in fact uh this weekend going into next week i wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't sign up for the gym or think about getting involved in some kind of weight loss and exercise. Yeah, he needs it, brother. i am getting swole you know i'll be doing the, <laughs> <laughs> the perfect push up and the perfect right, pull up <laughs> Got the perfect push up and a perfect pull up in the crib, so I'm gonna do my own shit. I ain't use that shit yet. You right? He's trying to get sexy on us. Personal membership. He's utilizing all them cocoa butter products. Come on, Lloyd. One more for July 17th, Lloyd. Come on, July 17th. Well, with July 17th, um, actually, you're heading through what is called a prosperity cycle, a good luck cycle, a cycle where you too. Well, see, in the case of the April 27th, his is for 30 days, and for yours, it's for 365 days. So you're going to have an opportunity to grow, evolve, improve, become more creative, expressive, imaginative, artistic, um, and Pisces people will help you, Sagittarian people will help you, or anyone born on the 3rd, the 12th, the 21st, or the 30th of the month will also be there to help you as well. The one thing you gotta do is, if you're the kind of guy that gets involved in overindulgences, which your birthday suggests you don't, then your your goal will be to strike a balance, because sometimes too much of can be just as bad as none of, okay? So that's what you're gonna be doing, but I will tell you this, 
don't know your age, but as you get older, your life gets better and better and better. And you, like the other caller, April 27, have never had a problem dealing with older women, especially in the younger part of your life. That's true. <laughs> we, we didn't already touch that. We, we know, yeah. I, I've been trying to figure out who you look like for since I saw you. Uh -huh. And I do not want you to take this around. I better already know where you're going with it. You look like Mace. <laughs> Mace? Oh, I'm handsome yeah. Mace. I get, I get a couple Maces. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of Omar Epps. Yes. A gay okay. dude said I look like Johnny Gill. Oh yeah! Uh, eyes, uh, eyes. Mama. 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 Has anything changed within the past couple months with me? Because I actually, I just picked up a, um, I was blessed enough to pick up an NYC agent. And I got to go meet with them like next week. And things are starting to move and groove a certain type of way. I'm just trying to make sure I stay on the path. You know, well, I would say that to to in your case, that would be about right because this particular month and, and this whole thing you're just talking about should have started just before or in and around Thanksgiving, and especially right after that. I, I think it was on the 22nd, 23rd this year, yeah, cool. but it was either somewhere around there moving into this month that an opportunity to meet somebody new, do some things new, take your life to the next level, or your goals and plans to the next level, all that would be in perfect keeping. And don't forget from your birthday, although you may not look your age, you are no joke, I would never, Take your kindness for weakness, for your sweetness for weakness. I really would. Ugh. That would be a fatal mistake to do that. It sure would. You carry a knife. Dang. Uh, <laughs> in my boot. In my boot. That's I right. I believe it. <laughs> my pistol's in the cup. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, what about that romance thing? You said that I was in like uh -oh. some romance. That's next year. Uh, which actually you should have got a hint of it back in October. I did. But you also you'll be entering what is called a finance and romance. Ain't no romance without finance. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Amen. 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 That one. And it, it just simply means that now all the things you've been wanting to do in a material way and in an emotional way is definitely going to make its presence felt. And uh, as far as moving ahead with your career, uh, it's this month and especially late January, February of next year. But more importantly, romantically, it's either going to be someone under the sign of Capricorn or Libra, like you, or they will be born on the 8th, the 17th, or the 26th of the month, or they will be either somebody from your past, somebody a little older than you would deal with normally, or category number three, they would have the ways and the means to help you mater materially or financially get to the next step. Well, well, if we're talking about well, uh, well. finance and romance, um, can we can we can we go back to eleven thirteen? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I, I'm not playing. <laughs> oh, here we go. Eleven thirteen, because I'm about to step out the place, and I've got a young kid that was born on. Uh, look, I had to listen. Eight twenty one, and she's really something, Lloyd. Yes, yeah, she is. She's a well, she's a borderline case. Normally, people born on the 20th, the 21st, or the 22nd are referred to as, in astrology, as cusp children. And what it means, in essence, is that you have a foot in one sign that you're about to leave, in her case, Leo, and then on, then entering the next sign, which is in her case next door, which would be Virgo. So it all depends on how she feels. Or she may have found in her experience she'll read a little of Leo. It may sound like her one day. And then if she reads a little Virgo, she'll say, yeah, you know, that sounds like more like me today. But whether she's a Leo or a Virgo, she's always wants to make something of herself. She don't do bums. In other words, <laughs> hey, she got somebody coming to her house and visiting, and they caught her on a good road, cook, good day, and she decided to have them spend the evening. Well, when she's going to work, they better have some place to go, too. She's and nine. She's laying <laughs> wow. on her house. She, she's actually nine, though, she, she's, she's nine going she's nine, and she, just, and she just got signed so to an agency. Excuse me. Yeah. 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 Yeah
<laughs> I'm like, don't you're scaring me. <laughs> yeah, she's nine and she's she's like super talented on a lot of different levels. Well, let me tell you this. She's a very expressive, articulate young lady. And I can tell you this. For nine years old, and I can tell you when she was younger, when you didn't hear her, that's when you knew she was into something. Because she's always got something to say. And she's always expressive and she's always very mature. So she may say to her mom, well, mom, if God made the world, who made God? You know what I'm saying? She started getting into those theological types of questions. Oh, my God. You're so you got to okay, honey, I'll get back to you. <laughs> you are so right. Oh, my gosh. And she's going to be well like she, she like she's going to like other little children and babies and animals. That's so wild. She wants to be a vet and a model and a soccer player and a... Yeah. And she always has a smile on her face. Yes, Lloyd. Oh, my God. I can't wait till you meet her. You have to meet her. Well, I'm coming down this weekend. Maybe I can get a chance to... I'll be at the Hampton Inn in Silver Spring, Maryland. And so um, Christina has my phone number. So maybe you might want to come and see me. Or for people who want to set a schedule to see me for a session... They can call my toll-free number, which is 1-800-581-4401. That's 1-800-581-4401. And just say they heard me on your show today, and I'll make sure I move them off the priority list, call them back, and schedule an appointment to see them. Yeah, hopefully I can see you on Friday. Um, we, time? Our comedian, um, Rob Mayer, he has a girlfriend that we were talking about because she's black and he's white and this whole... We're talking about this whole interracial dating thing today, and um, who's better for who. And um, her name is Tawanda, but her birthday is February 2nd. Anything quick for him, for Rob Mayer? Well, if her birthday is February the 2nd, I can tell you this. Whoever she is, she's a very sensitive soul. She would also have a love of dance and theater, uh, design and fashion. She would also like to collect things or find it very difficult or challenge to throw things away or depending. And it also tells me she's either finicky or fussy about her eating habits or dietary laws. So thus, if she becomes a vegetarian, semi-vegetarian, eat organic foods and stuff like that, or can burn those pots and pans like no other, that wouldn't surprise me. And she's a very affectionate young lady and very observant, so I would tell her boyfriend, never play her. All right, well, now, but we will be eating meat in our house. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have tofu on a grill. <laughs> well, thank you. I need to um, meet up with you this Friday before I head up to New York. Well, all you got to do is call me later on or call me tomorrow. Okay. And I'll be r arriving in Washington about maybe 12, 30, 1 o'clock tomorrow, and I'll be working through Sunday. Have that burger for me. Out of window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. see me. Uh, for those who don't understand this is what I do for a living and I gotta pay bills and family like okay, everybody else. So there's a fee involved, but everybody can manage it. Yeah. And where you, where, what area are you gonna be in, uh, Lloyd? I'm gonna be in Silver Spring, Maryland. All right, cool, cool. Awesome, um, give that information again at when I heard it's in you and um, what yeah, times you have available. Address, my website address is numbersandyou.com. My toll-free number is 1-800-581-4401. And if you call, say you heard me on the show, and you're interested in scheduling an appointment, I'll call you back immediately and, and set you up. I don't have too much space left. Um, and uh, we go from there. Yeah. That's tight. All good. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you, thank you, folks. It's thank so you, good boy. to hear your voice, and I'm going to come and see you this weekend. Absolutely. I'm going to bring uh, my daughter so you can bug out on her. Mm. Yes. Oh, please do. Please do. I'm so nosy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you again, Lloyd. God bless you. We love you. Thank you, and you guys have a great, great day. And, of course, when I say you guys, that includes the ladies, too. Okay? Yes. And let me say you women... For all women who don't understand and having three daughters, okay, I explain to them that without them, we do not exist. That you would think that alone that we men would treat our women better than we do. That is so, true. I've been very abusive to women. They're lucky they mother didn't flush them down the toilet. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> wow. And it takes real so, men to raise other real men. Kings come from kings. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah, and not only that, but not only is this the age of Aquarius, this is the age of women. 
So for guys that's got that old mindset, it is going to be a 70-30, 60-40 relation as uh, Teddy Pendergrass Teddy says. Yes. If you want to make it successfully, it's definitely going to have to be a 50-50 love. It's, it's not going to work any other way, not no more. So having your woman three feet behind you and all this other archaic stuff, that is over. And let me put it this way, ladies. When is the last time you heard the phrase, a woman's place is in the home? Uh, it's been a minute. Exactly. That's my point. That's why I gave some people of color to go back to slavery. Don't hold your breath, okay? It's not happening. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Lloyd. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Thank you, Lloyd. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, thank you, guys. And thank you, two beautiful ladies. And love to all of you. And I wish all of you the very, very best. And for those of you who I can't see this weekend in that studio, it'll be great. Just call me. We'll hook it up and make it happen. Yes. I'm trying to get that burger to you, Lloyd. Yes. Oh, brother, definitely. And well done, by the way, with some cheese on me. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, All right. All right. Take good care. And bye-bye now. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Well, that was the awesome Lloyd Strayhorn, um, who was just checking in with us and blessing us so much. He's been on Oprah like three times, and Monsoon and yeah. Katie Curry. He's awesome. I gotta roll out my meeting. Yeah. Tonight. Thank you so much for um, coming in. This was a lot of fun. At Rob Mayer, R O B M A H E R. Buy my CD once yeah. you go away. <laughs> How so much is your CD? Nine ninety. Actually, I got oh, it. I got Christmas stuff. sale. Actually, I think really? it's yeah. Cards on. yeah, I think I should have card on. Yeah, if you ever see any of these two, please put. Them no, I, I'm on. I know I'm yeah. yeah, but I'm, yeah. I'm coming up like it, okay. not tonight. Well, it can't be tonight. I got a paid gig tonight, but next Wednesday. Yeah, paid yeah. gig is better. Than exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Shout out to the paid, the paid gig. Indeed, indeed. Yes. But happy holidays, you guys. Thank you, man. Yeah. And, and thank you to the Olivia, the legendary Olivia, oh, Olivia Fox for coming in and blessing yeah. us. And, yeah, that, that um, her breast. Tommy okay. Taylor, tune mm -hmm. into the Tommy yeah. Taylor show. And, um, you know, post your comments and whatnot. And let them know how you feel about that. And um, that you guys did not do the video because you don't like black women. And, yeah. you know, it, it wasn't about that. It's all for fun. And, and, um, and it, it was, was done women. so well. And well, Tommy is, is an up and coming uh, producer, writer, yeah. director, man. Like, yeah. Google this guy, man. He's making moves. You know what I'm saying? In the DMV area and abroad. That's right. You better know it. Yeah. Um, well, shout out to Tommy um, uh, and also Jazz for coming through. Stony Jazz at Stony Jazz. Um, the Free Flow Forum. Yeah. The free flow forum. Eric. Stone Jazz. <laughs> Stone has Stone Jazz. The free flow forum at Red Lounge, 8211, um, 20113 14th Street, Northwest. Um, anything else going on? Uh, like I said, tonight uh, in Waldorf, Maryland, I'll be out there with Terrence. What's the spot called again? Oh, roll up. Terrence, what's his name? Uh, Terrence Hawkins. Terrence Hawkins. Okay, what time is that? It's 8 p.m. 8 p.m. I have prayer at 7. It's at Blue Bay Restaurant, 9425 the Berry Road, Waldorf, Maryland. It's with me, hosted by Terrence Hawkins and the nice, great, hilarious Alicia Cooper. Awesome. You Can you text me that? That and fire and yes, that I will. And yes, I will. Up next, we got... Um, Alizé. 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 I was about to throw in a you know, legendary, but to my left, we have Rollo Boykins. To my right, Troy Lamont. Do -do 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 -do. In the middle. Thank you, Jeremy Beaver. Thank you, Gigi. Olivia yeah. Fox. Rob Mayer. Um, everybody for coming in. Next week we have Sway from MTV blessing us and um, Ray Grant. And yeah, we have a show. WLBS Radio, a Listen Vision. Uh, oh, listenvisionlive.com. Listenvisionlive.com. Listen to tune in with us. This is the Christina Payne Show. Stay tuned for DJ Alize. We to get it in. Get the show the show. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What's up, bro? Thank you. Yeah, that's right better than the other one. Yeah, the last one was whatever, but... Look at that bitch
reason camera, that I can and I think I should. Oh, like, just to, like, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he needs substance abuse help. And, like, the camera you know, yeah, like, at the minimum, like, you like, you know what I'm saying? Like, learn your limit you and learn that your ass is a blackout drunk. Because he can cut down on one of his other friends. And his homeboy called me and was like, did you really do all that to you? I was like, uh, yeah, the fuck you did. I'm still healing. And then he was like, yeah, you just tried to fight me last night after getting drunk. And I was like, let the fuck out of here. Yeah, he don't know how to hang